In tonight's Health Watch, could Alzheimer's be the result of poor sleep? That's the troubling suggestion from a new study of older people. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to explain whether we have something to worry about, Doc. That's right. This is not so much about how much sleep and whether we're getting enough sleep. It's about the quality of sleep that we do get. We know Alzheimer's patients have trouble sleeping. But this new study says poor sleep may itself be a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Here's what researchers think is happening. Experts tell us we're a sleep-deprived nation, partly because we're way too busy, but also because many of us get poor quality sleep, even when we do manage to nod off. It was about like maybe four hours, three hours, six hours if I was lucky. Now a study in the journal Neurology asked 100 cognitively normal people about the quality of their sleep and found that those with poor sleep and daytime sleepiness had markers of Alzheimer's disease in their spinal fluid. The question is whether poor sleep is a cause or an early symptom of Alzheimer's. Disrupted sleep could be a risk factor or it could also be a very early symptom of uh, dementia. It's not clear how poor sleep could be related to Alzheimer's, but one possibility has to do with the theory that the disease is a result of waste products building up in the brain, waste products that are removed during sleep. If you're not sleeping, this is when the cleanup crew comes in and, and takes care of some of that or takes out the garbage, if you will. Stages of sleep are very important, actually, for the clearance of waste products of metabolism. And some of those products are related to neurodegenerative disease. Which begs the question, could sleeping more actually help prevent Alzheimer's? Improving your sleep will improve mood and cognition and memory. It's unknown at this time whether it has any, it will have an impact on the molecular pathology that forms the Alzheimer and other degenerative diseases, but the animal work suggests that it's a possibility. But taking sleep drugs are probably not the answer. Uh, there is some studies that show that taking sleep medications increases your risk. So it looks at while quantity of sleep is important, so is what experts call the architecture of sleep. The different phases or stages of sleep, REM, delta, and so on, they are also important. And drugs do not mimic normal sleep, they just knock you out. They do. <laughs> Which is a start, <laughs> it but, is. but it's not going to, it may not be the preventative that we're looking for. All right, Dr. Max, Thanks. appreciate it. You